The first step to installing the roll tarp is to assemble the front and rear end caps. Starting with the rear end cap, use a quarter inch by half inch bolts along with a quarter inch flange nuts to attach the rear end cap and faceplate together. Once assembled, tighten all of the hardware. The front end cap and faceplate will assemble the same as the rear, except for the last five bolts on the opposite auger side. A nylon strip will need to be placed behind the last five holes. Use a quarter inch by five eighths inch bolts along with quarter inch flange nuts to attach the nylon strip, end cap, and front faceplate together. Once assembled, tighten all of the hardware. To install the roll tarp hanger bracket, these items will be needed. An eighth inch and seven sixteenths inch drill bit, a drill, four three eighths by one inch serrated flange bolts, and four three eighths serrated flange nuts. Place the hanger bracket to the right of the center weld on the rear side of the cart. Keep the bracket as low as possible on the rear face of the cart. Once in place, mark the four holes with an eighth inch drill bit. Once marked, drill four through holes with an eighth inch drill bit. Follow with redrilling all four holes with a 7 16 inch drill bit. Now that the holes are drilled, use four 3 8 by 1 inch serrated flange hex bolts and four serrated flange hex nuts to attach the hanger bracket to the cart. Once attached, tighten the hardware. Next, place the lip lock or drip edge on the opposite auger side. The lip lock needs to be centered between the front and rear of the grain cart body. With a newer model, there will be pre-cut holes to align the lip lock with. Use a C-clamp vice grips to hold the lip lock in place. At this time, the rear end cap needs to be installed. Place the rear end cap onto the back of the grain cart. Slide the end cap to the right until it makes contact with the rear opposite auger corner bracket. Once positioned, use a quarter inch bit. Drill through the bottom right hole on the end cap faceplate if standing behind the grain cart. Then insert quarter by half inch hex bolt and tighten with a quarter inch serrated hex nut. This will hold the end cap in place. Continue to drill four more holes which run horizontal to the one that was just drilled. While drilling, grab the front of the end cap and pull up at the same time. Then place quarter by half inch bolts and quarter inch serrated flange nuts into the recently drilled holes. Tighten all the hardware once installed. Next, the end cap brace will need to be installed. This will have to be done from inside the grain cart. Drill a quarter inch hole, followed by using a 7 16 bit through the same hole. Then loosely attach the bottom part of the brace using a 3 8 by 1 inch serrated bolt and nut. With the top part of the brace in one hand and applying pressure upwards on the end cap, find a spot where the braces will match up. 
leaving the front of the end cap approximately an inch higher than the back of the end cap. Once this position is acquired, use two 3 8 by one inch serrated hex bolts and nuts to join the two braces together. Then slide the brace under the lip of the end cap. Once this is accomplished, tighten all the hardware. Move to the rear opposite auger side of the grain cart. Reassure that the lip lock is tied against the opposite auger sideboard. Then, drill through the hole on top of the end cap using a quarter inch bit. Attach the end cap using a quarter inch by half inch bolt and nut. Tighten the hardware before moving on. Now go to the auger side of the rear end cap and repeat the same procedure. Now place three 3 8 inch J bolts into the three remaining holes in the rear end cap. Fasten the J-bolts with three 3 8 inch lock nuts. Do not tighten pass flush. Install the front end cap assembly using the same procedure used to install the rear end cap assembly. The front end cap does not use J-bolts, therefore there are no holes for them. Installing the bows, use 4 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch bolts and 4 quarter inch serrated flange nuts for each bow. If your lip lock is centered and there are no holes visible through your lip lock and sideboard, holes will need to be drilled wherever there are slots in the lip lock. Use a quarter inch drill bit to accomplish this. This should only be the case on later model grain carts. For the three cables, feed one end of the cable through the cable clamp. Make a small loop, then tighten the clamp.
Feed the cables through the front end cap, pulling the end without the cable clamps through first. Make sure to pull from front to back. Next, route the cables over the arch bows and thread them through the existing holes on the rear end cap. Now, feed the cables through the cable clamps. Make a small loop and hook the loop into the J-bolt, using a vice grip to pull on the cable. Pull the cable tight, then tighten the cable clamp. Once the clamps are tightened, tighten the J-bolts. Insert a wrench into the hook of the J-bolt and tighten the nut. Installing the plastic standoffs. Place the standoff approximately 3 inches from the top of the sideboard extension. Butt the standoff against the wells that are on the corner of the grain cart. Mark holes with a quarter inch drill bit, then drill two through holes. Use two quarter inch self tapping screws and two quarter inch washers to fasten the standoff to the grain cart. Installing the spring return. Place the spring return below the front sideboard extension and butt the side of the spring return against the welds on the corner of the grain cart. Use a quarter inch drill bit to make your first hole. Then fasten the spring return to the cart using quarter inch by three quarter inch self tapping screws. Next, drill through the remaining holes and insert the self tapping screws. Spread the canvas tarp out so that the three stiffening patches are on the opposite auger side with the shiny part down. Install the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter steel tube through the opposite auger side canvas tarp end. Then feed the one inch by one inch tube through the auger side tarp end. On the front auger side, measure two inches from the end of the square tube. Place the end of the canvas tarp there. Now, drill a quarter inch hole through the center of the stiffening patch through the square tube. Then, install the pop ribbon. Now go to the rear auger side corner of the grain cart. Pull the tarp tight, then install the pop ribbon in the center of the stiffening patch. Next, place the one inch tube under the top bolt of the corner bracket. Drill a quarter inch hole approximately 18 to 24 inches in from the corner of the cart. Then, redrill the hole with 7 16 drill bit. Place 3 8 by 2 inch bolt through the one inch tube and the grain cart sidewall. Fasten with 3 8 serian flange nut. Repeat process at the rear end of the grain cart. Now drill a hole in the center of the grain cart lifting the center of the one inch tube approximately one inch above the two other holes. Now for the roll tube. Line the roll tube spool up with a spring return cable. Drill a quarter inch hole in the stiffening patch. Fasten the canvas tarp using a pop rivet. Go to the rear of the cart, pull the canvas tarp tight, and repeat the process. Install pop rivets at the remaining stiffening patches.
attach the knuckle to the roll pipe. Use two 3 8 by 2 inch bolts along with two 3 8 inch lock nuts. After rolling up the tarp, install the last 3 8 serrated flange nut onto the middle stop bracket. Tighten the nut. 